Hold on, I need a quick sip of water. <laughs> okay. So, ladies, here is our first card featuring that gorgeous posy stamp set. I love this stamp set. And I really wanted to use like this blue, the blues and green color combination. So we have Just Jade here. This is Pool Party with some Just Jade stamping there. And then that is Granny Apple Green. I was gonna say Old Olive at first. It's funny, I think it, when I stamp it, it looks much brighter and then it kind of deepens up as it dries. So let me show you how we are gonna make this card my things out yep granny apple green pool party just shade look at isn't that isn't that a fun color combo when you put those three together like that don't you love that i was just really excited to use that color combo okay so here we're gonna stamp some everything out all right so let me give you some dimensions first and then we'll do some stamping and die cutting so we have our just jade cardstock so along the 11 inch side we cut it at five and a half inches and then along the eight and a half inch side we scored it at four and a quarter inches you guys know me i love my nice crisp fold on my card right then we have a piece of this is just jade cardstock that we embossed four inches by five and a quarter inches and then everything else these are all these are all scraps to do our scallop square die cut this we're going to stamp our flower and this is for our sentiment and then this is the white piece that's going to go right there that you do need to know that one measures two and a half by two and a half okay that maybe you can barely see but two and a half by two and a half and just so you guys know everything that you need to know to recreate this card will be on my blog it's actually going to be tomorrow morning though because um I have to go straight from here to class, and so I won't have time to get everything uploaded until tomorrow. So have a little patience with me, but I will have everything, all the um, the colors of everything that we use, the dimensions, everything that you need to know to recreate these cards and order what you need to be able to recreate them, okay? That'll be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com tomorrow. Okay, so in the meantime, let's do our stamping. So these things we're gonna pop over here so we've got a little bit of stamping that we need to do and I think I want to grab I may not need this but we're going to use it anyway okay so we've got that there all right so let's see we are gonna do we need pool party ink first okay so we're gonna do our nice easy tap 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 in pool party and then ooh, I almost mixed that up didn't I this is the one that I just want to stamp that on, okay? And then we are going to use just jade ink to put the little dots in the center of that. And it's funny how much darker it looks and then it lightens up a lot um, over time. Okay, then with our granny apple green ink, we are gonna stamp our celebrating your day and I'm going to use this piece because I'm not sure I have enough room on there for that one so there's our celebrating your day and then on this one we want to stamp our leaves oops <laughs> I was going to ink it up on here but that's not right okay so this one is just jade okay so that's not what I want though I'm looking at that like wait a minute okay here hold on we have to clean this off I need on the leaves we are going to use the granny apple green okay so here we go nice easy tap 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 you guys can see that right we're gonna stamp that one there and then we're gonna stamp that one there okay then and you know what i am going to clean these off because many of these things we need on the next card too so let's just clean off what we've done so far Okay, and that little baby, stamping those off. And then the veins of the leaf, that's what we wanna use our Just Jade ink for. So we're gonna stamp that one there, and then that one right there. And we'll clean that baby off, and it is all ready to go for our next card too. I'm gonna clean that sentiment. Okay, so now we can do, we have some, die cutting and some embossing and some
paper snipping to do too. Hello, Miss Kay. Welcome. I hope you're doing okay. I know you've had a lot going on. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Trying to get everything situated. So actually we don't need that, right? Okay, so here we go. Let's do our die cutting first. I want this handle on this way, don't I? Okay, get that up in view a little bit better. <laughs> okay, all right, so we got that one. So we are going to use the Tasteful Labels dies. I use these all the time. If you guys do not have these yet, these are the thing that you need. And I actually, there's one more too that I've pulled out for another card at the studio. So we're gonna use this one on our sentiment. And then we have the Layering Square dies. And I have to help myself out and put that one right there. So this one is the second largest with the scallop edge um, square, scallop square, okay? So we are gonna put this piece and it just fits, I noticed that the other day, right there. And then we are gonna die cut our sentiment and that moved, so we're gonna fix that in a sec. We'll get this one lined up straight. You might have to move the paper to keep it on. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna die cut these babies. And then we have our embossing to do also with our new dainty diamonds you see. And you, you guys have seen, right? It's got that little um, embossed uh, element, I guess, to it. I'm trying to think of what, what do I say about that? <laughs> it's just, it's kind of embossed, right? And then our little scallop square. I always love these, the little scallop squares, right? Okay, so let's see. Then we are going to do our embossing with our new Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. So you see that right there? It's just a nice, subtle, kind of get the idea there too, right? Okay, so we are going to pop this baby right in there, okay? crank this one through and I will show you what the dainty diamonds embossing folder looks like. Okay. Because it's pretty subtle on the card. Okay, so that's actually kind of the back side, the debossed side, and then there is the embossed side. Can you see all the pretty diamonds on there? Beautiful. Right, ladies? All right, I think we are done with our die cutting here. Actually, let's get... Yeah, trying to stay organized as usual. Okay, so we are we got like all askew, didn't we? That's all right though. Okay. Do, do, do. Where's our card? Right here. This is what I'm looking for. <laughs> trying to make sure that I know what I'm doing here, ladies. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces. So the last step, gotta grab your paper snips and my glasses too, actually, here. Do this real quick. So there is no die that cuts this flower out. So you are going to very quickly and easily with your paper snips, because they are the most fabulous scissors in the world, you are just gonna kind of snip right around here. You guys see how I'm kind of turning the paper, um, kind of cutting as I go. And I like to leave a little bit of white edge around. I think that kind of rather, it's really hard to cut right up alongside um, the ink. So I don't like to do that. I leave a little white edge right on there. And then we just kind of keep twisting the paper as we go. And isn't this so therapeutic? I was originally gonna say, see, it's almost as fast as, well, I guess depending on how organized you are, <laughs> finding your dies, getting them set up on your big shot and actually cranking the handle, right? So by the time you do all that, you could almost, I wanna cut in there a little bit more, have snipped around this flower, right? You know, maybe you're not gonna make a million of them. Although sometimes when you're sitting and just kinda of maybe watching TV or something, what a fun little thing to do, right? So there we go. We got our little guy all cut out there, okay. Remove the glasses because I feel like I'm getting seasick already. So we're going to put a little dimensional behind that guy. We're going to put some dimensionals behind our sentiment. 
Then, where's this piece right here? We are going to add this to our uh, little scallop square piece. Okay, is that going? It's funny, it almost didn't look, look like I had gone off the edge, but we're good, okay. So that's gonna go on there. We are going to pop our flower, and I want to make sure, yeah, okay, I like how that looks. Trying to make sure that I, I liked how that looked. You know, you can kind of spin that flower around till you get it where you like, right? Okay, now we're actually gonna tie a bow around this embossed piece, and then we are gonna add it onto our card. Let's scoot that over there, okay? There, make sure we're in view. So this ribbon is so easy to work with because um, you kind of can't mess it up. You know, it's this crinkly ribbon, um, which I love. It's just so, so very easy to work with. It's like a song. We want to sing a song about how easy it is to work with it. Maybe we will. Okay, so I'm going to add a good amount of adhesive. I always like to do that on these pieces that are embossed. And I want to actually move that ribbon maybe right about there. Probably should have moved it before I put the adhesive on, but you know, can't remember everything, right? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pop this piece. Love that, right, that embossed. And then we're gonna add some more adhesive. You could put, um, you see how I had to do that? Sometimes um, it's like my last flick of the wrist doesn't advance the adhesive, so just use your, Kind of point your finger and roll that forward if you need to. Eh, which way do I want to go? Right there, okay? So this one we are going to add right there. Press firmly because that can kind of pop off with the, um, with the embossing on there. And then we've got this celebrating eh, your day. Got that one right there. And then we have one little... Um, enamel, our 2020-2022 in color enamel dots. We are going to use one of our Just Jade dots. We're going to just pop that right. I'm going to use this to get it where I wanted because I didn't press too hard. There, I'm going to put that right there. Okay, so there is our first card. Isn't that beautiful? Again, I love that color combo. The Pool Party Just Jade and Granny Apple Green. I think it's a beautiful combination of colors together, right? Don't you? Okay, all right, so card number one. 